So we just shot this first YouTube video just talking about how some people think that God only does good things and the devil only does bad things. But if we if we think in that type of way, our perception of God might be skewed incorrectly. So, oh, y'all tell me what y'all think down there in the comments. And remember, we live in practical lives in a holy way. Check it out. Look, I was sitting here stretching and then the Lord abruptly interrupted my stretching session and he was like Proverbs 3 and 11. I was like, all right. But I had to write it down because I, because Y'all know I use my, well, y'all don't know, but I use my, my phone as my Bible and I don't really have a paperback. I didn't go and get one, though, for, for times like this. But anyway, it says, my son, despise not the discipline, the chastening, the discipline of the Lord, neither grow weary whenever you are being corrected by him. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a father, the son in whom he delights. Now that's that, that's Old Testament. But in Hebrews, which is New Testament, it say the same thing, but it say a few more words. So watch this. Have you forgotten the exhortation that speaks unto you as unto sons, as unto children? My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, the discipline of the Lord, neither grow weary whenever you are being corrected by him. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects. Even, even a father, a son in whom he delights. The same exact words. Now listen to this. If you endure chastening, if you endure discipline, teaching, he deals with you as he deals with a son. For what father does not discipline his son? Hmm. But if you are without discipline, then you are bastards and not sons. And it just goes on to say that not chastening and discipline for the present time, for right now, seeming not joyous, but grievous, but afterwards it, it yields peaceable fruit to those that are exercised thereby. So afterwards it it yield it yields good things. The discipline yields good things. Just like whenever your mama and daddy whooped you, for the most part, I don't know, I don't know everybody's situation. But for me, my parent my parents whooped me because they wanted to show me that at that time what I did was wrong. And they didn't they didn't want it to happen again. And that's and that's really it. They didn't want it to happen again. And that's that's the same reason that God disciplines us. Because he don't want what we did wrong to happen again. And then listen, look. It's, it, it's some people that think that everything good is God, everything bad is the devil. And obviously, in theory, that makes sense. And then it kind of cuts down on the confusion because we know if something good happened, oh, that was God. And if something bad happened, oh, all right, that's the enemy. But it ain't, it ain't like that. The only reason it's not like that is because we are people. We have different thoughts, different opinions, different perceptions. Good and bad is subjective to everybody. So sometimes people people confuse things that feel bad with the things that are bad. So we confuse bad feelings with bad actions. And we don't and we don't ever want to do that because we could be telling ourselves a lie. I give you an example. Death. That's that's from the enemy, or or from us, depending on what we do. But death is not from God. So 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 death that's either from us or it's from the enemy. Um, bad health. God's word says opposite of bad health. He he wants us to be in health and prosper, even as our souls prosper. Good good health is from the Lord. Bad health that's from the enemy or or from decisions that we have made. Um, condemnation. Condemnation is from the devil. And, and remember, condemnation and conviction is different. Condemnation tries to make you feel bad for past things that you have done just for the sake of making you feel bad for them. The enemy, the enemy want to recall bad things to your mind, past things you've done, past things that got done to you. And he just want to condemn you and, and keep you down and, and keep you joyless. Is that a word? I just made it a word. He want to he wanna keep you joyless. But then, conviction on the other hand, because that, that makes us feel bad too sometimes. Conviction, though, is from the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is our guide. He is our teacher. He is our convictor. But the difference between condemnation and conviction, conviction is for us to repent. God, God wants us to see what we did wrong, to feel in bad feelings 
so that we can repent and run to him. It says that it says that the Lord is with the brokenhearted and he with the contrite, he with the contrite in spirit. So it's so it's kind of like whenever he convicts us, and then that's that's what's so good about the Lord, y'all, because the Holy Spirit, like the the Lord is everything. Understand, look, because the Holy the Holy Spirit is, is our convictor, and he is our teacher. But then on the other hand, he is our comforter as well. Jesus said, I ain't gonna leave you comfortless, I'm gonna come to you. I'm going to send you a comforter. The Holy Spirit is also our comforter. So after he convicts us, after he after he teaches us what we did wrong, then he comes to us like a parent and comforts us. You ever uh <laughs> you ever had you ever you ever had a whooping and then your daddy talking about nah, I, I, I ain't do that. I ain't do that cuz I wanted to do it. I did it cuz I love you. No you didn't. No you didn't. You wanted to hit me, sir. No, nah, no, nah, they didn't. Uh, I want to clarify and just make sure that y'all know my parents did not abuse me. I have very good parents. Thank you. Just understand sometimes our parents whoop us or sometimes, and then some people might not agree with whoopings, but, but, but you still discipline your child in some type of way. You don't, you don't just let them get away with everything. So what you talk sternly to them or what have you, I, I ain't condemning nobody. Whenever your kids, whenever your children, just, just like God is our father, we are his children, you got your own children. Whenever your kids or whenever your children do something wrong, you have to let them know that they have done something wrong. And that's that, that's that discipline, that's that conviction from the Lord. But then right after he convicts you, <laughs> he comforts you because, because that's conviction and not condemnation. He wants us to understand what we did was wrong, now it's over, let's move past it, I forgive you, I love you, baby. And that's what's good about my God, but here we go. Anyway, that's one thing that's good, that's one thing that's good about him. But anyway, um, so conviction, that causes bad feelings, but it's from the Lord. So that's why we can't confuse bad actions with bad feelings. And I I'll give you another example, and I have been through it. Whenever we think we want something, or, or we think we need something and God removes it, it feels bad because, Lord, that's that's something that I thought I really wanted or, or Lord, that, that's something that I thought I needed. Sometimes God removes it. Maybe the thing wasn't good for us. Sometimes he removes people out of our lives because of the bad that can result, the real bad that can result if we if we keep those people in our lives and sometimes when god removes things or removes people from our lives that we like or that we want or that we thought we needed yes that feels bad i'll come to let you know from experience but he does it because he loves us he he does it out of love he don't he don't just give us bad feelings just for us to feel bad so that's why we got to understand the difference between bad actions and bad feelings and really just hold it up to the yardstick of the word. Or to cut down on all the confusion, ask the spirit in the book of James and say, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, which gives to all men liberally. And all we have to do is, is have faith and don't doubt that God will give us the wisdom and he will show us who is doing the, the seemingly bad or the bad thing that's happening in our life. And he won't only show us that, but, but he gonna show us how to get over that little home, fix it and move past it. My God is good, y'all. So, <laughs> so just understand just the difference between bad actions and bad feelings and test, test everything with the spirit. The spirit will let you know. So if we if we lay by the spirit, the spirit will never steer us wrong. And I just want to take this time out to make sure that that if if you're on this channel and you are a Christian, thank you for your support. If you are not, I'll pray with you right now and just, just pray this prayer with me. Cause the Bible that I read say if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. So just pray this prayer with me real simple. Uh, Father, 
Please forgive me of the sins I have committed, Lord. I'm sorry. Please help me. I know now that I need you. I know that you love me. Help me to learn your love. Help me to have a real relationship with you. And help me to understand, Lord, that above all things that you promised, you are the prize. Lord, I know that Jesus, he came, he died, Lord. He rose. He left, Lord. And he left me with the Holy Spirit. But one day, Jesus is coming back again. And I, and I accept your salvation right now, Lord. I'm saved. I'm set free. I'm delivered. Help me to get in your word. Help me to be an obedient child. It's in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. We believe that if you pray that prayer, you are now saved. You are a brother. You are a sister. Let me know down there in the comments if you got, if you got saved today. Because I want to congratulate you and your brothers and your sisters will too. Peace and blessings. Love y'all.